Hello and welcome back to another video. It's your buddy Civil here and today I'm going to teach you how to build yourself a simple little kitchen that you can easily throw inside of a house. So the first thing I think of when starting off a kitchen is a stove area. So right here I have laid out a nice rock wall along the back wall which is really hard to do because it kept snapping to the platform but it's just trial and error just trying to place it down and I have split it off into sections using about two foot pieces of rock wall spreading out and it's easy to line them up because they snap to a certain length and that's when you know they will be the exact same length and in between those sections I have placed a nice little fire and right now I am going to place down some drying racks so these drying racks are supposed to look like you know you're cooking the food by hanging it over the fire so just go ahead and lay these out across all of your little stoves. Alright, so now that I have those complete, I'm going to start laying out the rest of the sections of the rock walls so I can have multiple stoves. And as you see here, I am placing them about a log and a half apart. And as you can see right there, it snaps to the exact same length of the other ones. So it's extremely easy to do. Just takes a little bit of time. And we'll spread that one a little bit further apart from the other one. And time for the last one. And this one is probably the hardest one to do because this one likes to snap to the edge of the platform. So I guess just be careful and just try your best to do it because it is really annoying. As you can see there, it is just trying to snap itself to the edge, which honestly is just annoying. It's really stupid. I don't know why it does it. I guess it just wants to be perfect, and by wanting to be perfect, it screws up my whole plan. Alright, so as you can see, I have laid out the rest of these. You probably saw that I was having problems with this rock wall snapping to the wall, so it's kind of curved in. And I went ahead and laid out some fires inside. You want to go ahead and lay out the fires inside before you build the rock walls because if not, they will not fit when the rock walls are built. I've had that problem in the past, so just go ahead and do that when they're not built. And I will go ahead and build the rest of the drying racks. Alright, so now that I have completed the drying racks and the rest of the sections, I'm going to go ahead and lay out a stick fence to kind of give it a better look. So you just want to go ahead and lay it out in the first section and put it on the last section, the exterior. And right there, you have yourself a nice little guard fence, I guess you'd call it. So now you can go ahead and start building everything. It is finally complete. Alright, so there you have yourself a nice little area to cook your meat at. It's not exactly perfect, I kind of rushed it, but you can take your time, make it as beautiful as you want it to. Um, but yeah, that is how you make yourself some stoves. So back here in the other corner, this is where you would plate your food. Not really necessary, but I just kind of added it to make it look nice. So I made myself a nice little L station with tables and some shelves. This is where you'd put your plates and then you could bring the plates right here, put your food on it, make it look nice and dandy. All right, so over here in this back corner, I have gone ahead and laid out some tables. And right here, I'm going to place down some water collectors. So this is going to be where I, you know, can boil my food. You know, if you have some chicken you want to boil, 
doesn't really matter. So you want to go ahead and place the water collectors inside of the tables before you build the tables or else you will not be able to build the water collectors. So go ahead and just build them when you're done. And to add a nice little touch, you can go ahead and put a rock wall on the outside so you don't see the legs of the water collectors. And just like that, you've got yourself a nice little boiling station. Alright, so you may be wondering what this little closet is for. This is going to be my walk-in. So this is like uh, your freezer that you should have if you run a business with food, obviously. So what I'm going to do is place some shelves because this is where you would put, you know, all your foods and whatnot. Alright, so now that I've got the shelves laid out, you can go ahead and lay out some drying rags. Because you've got to refrigerate your meat, or else it'll go bad. And there you have it. Once you've laid out everything, you can go ahead and build it. And you've got yourself a nice little walk-in freezer. Alright, so you may be wondering why it's a little bit empty in the middle. What are we missing? And it is a nice little kitchen island. So with this, we can implement everything that we've already built. So right here, we could have a nice little boiling station table. So just go ahead, lay that out, and put yourself a nice little water collector inside of there. And in the middle, we could just have a regular table for plating, I guess. Garnishing, whatever. And in the back, we can have a nice little stove. Alright, so once you have that completed, you know, seeing it is that we have extra space, you can go ahead and lay out some more tables, doesn't matter, you can just make it look exactly how you want it to, and I'm going to make it a nice L-shaped island. So now that I have that complete, you can just go ahead and start building. And we have ourselves a nice completed kitchen. So, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. And. What the fuck was that? Alright, so that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and check out the rest of our channel. Maybe you'll like it. And if you haven't checked out our Steam group community, go ahead and check it out. A link will be in the description. Me and Om are doing a once a month thing where we do a video with you guys. This month we did a Stick It to the Boss where we did 9 People versus Megan. So go ahead and check that out. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.